So, Tui, what have you been working on? I have been working on clearing family lineage and beliefs. This last weekend was a pretty powerful full moon and it's about releasing. And um, I did a few different rituals in which I went back to times in my life in which I perceived some experience and then it made me form a belief. This time though, it was very different because it was about vows that I made. One of the vows was with my mother and we were very, very poor growing up in California because she's a single immigrant mom of two kids and we escaped from Vietnam and we went to the grocery store. I wanted to ride a mechanical horse. I asked her and she said we didn't have the money or the time. And then I um, saw her, I felt her sadness and her burden. And I vowed then that I wouldn't be a burden on her. I vowed then that I would take care of her later. And I vowed then that I would make enough money for all of us. So this was the start of it because I had my first business like when I was in fourth grade in which I put decals on um, little kids' nails like in school um, at recess and at lunch. And I charged them a dollar for it. And I learned how to do this because my mom went to cosmetology school and I was her guinea pig for facials and manicures and all sorts of stuff. And Mr. Wingo told me I couldn't do that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, vows are declarations that you make and then it sticks to your orc field. These are different than cords. So I cleared for these vows and I cried because I, there were um, vows for like Chris, Bella's dad, and um, where I also made vows with other people. And so I cleared all that. Then on Monday, because I did so many clearings, I um, was like blank. It was really weird where I didn't know how to do things. And it was like files being deleted from me. And so I had to reinstall them. And so I was very, very conscious of it where I asked, well, what programs do I want to reinstall? Because I'm deleting a lot of them. What do I want to reinstall and do I need to upgrade them as well? So it was kind of a fun activity. So this week I am reinstalling. Reinstalling programs that I need, that I want to be, um, and um, that can make me better. So you're probably wondering, how can I get rid of these vows? Well, one of the first step is uh, to be aware of them and perhaps writing them down. And then um, there's lots of ways through sound vibration and definitely breathing, getting yourself relaxed, uh, checking in with your heart. You can do whatever ritual you want. I love the water release rituals where I put it, my intention on a piece of paper and I release it into the water. Um, I'll also do that with rose petals as well or any types of flowers. And then um, I'll ask to be reinstalled because if you're removing, you need to reinstall. Otherwise you're blank and then when you're outside, you'll pick up whatever is in your field because you're a blank slate, right? And there's room for it. So pick wisely. Um, you can also tune it in with a tuning fork or you can use a divining rod. Um, I love the divining rod. Um, and sometimes I'll also dance where in my dance movement, I definitely have intention and I do a lot of like circles to bring it in um, or figure eights and I walk into it. Okay, so you can, it's all about intention and that you're ready to release and acknowledging it and then picking a better story. I hope this helps you remove the vows that you made so that you can form new contracts and make a room for new things that you want more in your life. Click the link in my bio or visit soyouboutique.net to get free energy tips sent to your inbox or to book a session with me.